So I'll start with problem one. Um, yeah. So basically, you're given a 2D coordinate plane, um, and there's n axis aligned rectangle targets, and there's four n cows. Um, and each cow must be assigned to a different target vertex. Um, yeah. And basically, each target appears. Well, just like draw on the side. And there's four cows assigned to each target, right? Um, so there's a bunch of targets that appear. And yeah, there's four cows that are assigned to each target. And each cow is on the y-axis. Um, and it has some kind of slope. And it hits the target with that slope, right? Um, and the cow is not allowed to pass the interior of the square that it's hitting. So if the cow, um, yeah. So if the beam is like this, it'll hit the interior. So this kind of not allowed, right? So each cow has some kind of slope with which it hits the target. Um, and you have four n cows, and each one has some predetermined slope. Um, and you want to assign the cows such that the difference between the top, uh, yeah, the difference between the max y coordinate and min y coordinate are minimized. Um, yeah. Uh, and here we have n is up to like four times 10 to the fourth. Um, yeah. Uh, and the slope can be up to 10 to the nine. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So there are a couple of observations we can make. Um, so basically, if, uh, yeah. So if, Yeah, so I'll move to my OneNote. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of observations we can make. Um, so given a particular rectangle, the cows that um, hit this vertex, or actually just the cows that hit the top right vertex or the bottom right vertex, there's a certain kind of uh, property for them. So this cow needs to have negative slope. And then this cow needs to have positive slope. Right. Um, and then finally, uh, we want to minimize the difference between the max coordinate and the min coordinate. And we have the property um, in the problem that all of the uh, x coordinates of the left edge are equal. So the squares, their left coordinates lie on, um, the, they have the same x value, right? So if we consider the cows that intersect the y axis, um, we consider the cows that intersect the y-axis and are matched to these vertices. Uh, we want to minimize the difference between the top and the bottom. So it's always optimal um, to put them in increasing order of slope. So when you go from bottom to top, uh, it's always optimal to put them in increasing order of slope, right? Um, yeah, so those are some observations that you can get. So given for the top right vertex, you need to have negative slope. And for the bottom right vertex, the cow needs to have a positive slope. Otherwise, it'll cut through the interior. And since everything in the left has the same x value, then it's always optimal if you want to minimize the difference between the top and bottom intersection uh, to have the cows arranged in increasing order of slope. Right. Um, so you're already given the slopes beforehand. So that gives you that all of these have negative slope. Um, 
Yeah. So all of these have negative slope and some suffix of this has negative slope. And then for the things with positive slope, all of these have positive slope and sorry, some suffix has negative slope. Um, and some prefix of these has positive slope. Yeah, so now we have this observation. Um, so we know how to solve for the subtask where the absolute value of SI is equal to one for all I, because if there are A cows with positive slope and then B cows with negative, then we know that um, there's N of, N of them that are assigned here as uh, positive. And then but the top N minus A over here, oops, the top are also positive. And then B of them and negative on the right. So the bottom N minus B of them are assigned negative. Um, yeah, so we can solve for the subtask where SI equals one. And now let's consider the full subtask where you can have SI is up to 10 to the nine. So essentially for um, the things with the negative slope uh, you and the things with uh, positive slope, you kind of have two independent problems. So you want to, uh, yeah. So for the things with the negative slope, uh, you want to, uh, maximize the minimum intersection. So there's two things, right? So negative slope, oh, I, I guess it's positive slope, positive slope. Um, these things are basically going downwards from the right. Um, you want to minimize or you want to maximize the minimum intersection. And then for the negative slope, uh, you want to minimize um, the max intersection. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean the max intersection with the y-axis, which is precisely the location of the cow. Yeah, so for positive slope, you want to maximize the min intersection with the y-axis. And then for the negative slope, you want to minimize the max intersection with the y-axis. So this, um, yeah. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, so this is is not straightforward to do directly, but what we can do is we can binary search on the answer. We can binary search on the answer. So yeah, so now we've split it into two independent problems. So we're only dealing with the vertices that have positive slope and the ones that have negative slope um, separately. So let's uh, yeah, consider the things with positive slope. And we want to binary search on the um, small uh, the intersection of the lowest one, right? So we want to check if we can make um, all intersections greater than or equal to x. So we're basically binary searching on this X um, for the positive slopes. And then the maximum X such that um, this holds gives us the desired answer. Um, yeah. So if you want to check if it's greater than or equal to X, um, then yeah. So let's say we want to check if the max intersection or the min intersection is greater than or equal to X. Um, if it's possible to have some kind of arrangement, right? So basically we have, uh, yeah, um, 
So for each point, so we're only dealing with the red, um, the things that, that come from the red points, right? So for the red points, we have an upper bound on the slope um, if we don't want to cross this. So basically all of these things with positive slope, we have an upper bound on the slope of what comes from here. So basically we have the slope can't be greater than or equal to a certain amount. So you have like all these upper bounds, right? So A1, um, A2, A3, up to AK. So you have upper bounds on all the slopes from A1. Um, so if we want to check if um, we can make all the intersection values be greater than or equal to x, uh, we can basically have upper bounds on all the slopes. And you can assume that uh, these are all sorted. And then you take the actual positive slopes um, values. Um, yeah, so you take the actual positive slope values and you see if uh, you can actually satisfy these upper bounds. And the way to satisfy these upper bounds is you sort the actual positive slopes to B1, B2, B3, up to BK. Um, so just a reminder, these are the upper bounds for positive slopes. And these are the actual positive slopes. Um, and these upper bounds are based on x. So we can achieve x um, whenever these values um, are less than or equal to the corresponding upper bounds. Um, yeah, so why is there an upper bound on the slopes? Um, it's because we, we're binary searching on the minimum value, right? So we want to check if we can make all the intersections of the positive slopes be greater than or equal to x. So let's say that, so this is um, capital X, right? Um, and then yeah, um, you want to check if this intersection will be greater than or equal to x. And that gives an upper bound on the slope, right? So if this is like y, yeah, if this is y, then the upper bound on the slope is going to be um, y over capital X. Uh, is the upper bound the slope of the line between the vertex of the target and the how located at x? So lowercase x is basically the, I want to check if the min cal coordinate will be greater than or equal to lowercase x for all the cows. Yeah. So basically, like I'm binary searching on this coordinate here. And I want to make the min coordinate as high as possible. And the one way that's um yeah, one way that's doable to do this is by binary searching on what this value is. Um yeah, I could have just called it T just to avoid confusion. Yeah. Okay, I'll call it T. Um yeah, but basically the idea is that um the slope is going to be like y minus t, the upper bound for the slope that's con that's connected to the tar this vertex is going to be y minus t over x. So the this slope here, if I have that um, the lowest point is greater than or equal to t, the slope must be at most y minus t over x. So basically, I have all these upper bounds for the positive slopes. And I have my actual slopes, which I get from the input SI. And if I put have these in sorted order and it's less than or equal to 
the upper bounds, then I'm done. I'm good. So basically, we can binary search on the lower endpoint, and you want to try to maximize the lower endpoint. And you can binary search on the higher endpoint in a similar way and minimize the higher endpoint. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, binary searching on what's the value of the lowest cal, and then binary searching on what's the value of the highest cal. And just to summarize, we use the fact to, that we know which vertices have positive slopes attached to them, and we know which vertices have negative slopes attached to them. And we wanted to find the minimum and maximum intersections with the y-axis from these lines. Um, and binary search is um, ends up being a straightforward way to do it. Yeah, any questions? Okay. Um, yeah, that's the solution for problem one. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go over problem two and then, uh, yeah. Um, and then we can have the problem, sorry, sorry, I mean problem three, and then we can have the um, problem two explanation after that. Why did, how does the, is this the hardest problem? I personally thought two was the hardest problem, but I think this certain parts of the problem that are hard are like, I guess one one part that's challenging is understanding the problem statement. Um, but I think after that, just like putting the pieces together, I think it's maybe like a maybe one other thing that's tricky. I guess one one thing that's tricky is just like making the observation that if you binary search on the answer, then um, that simplifies things a lot. Because do, trying to do it directly can be very challenging. Like if you're given the po positive slopes and you want to maximize like the minimum value, um, it's it's not clear how to, I don't know, it's not like super clear how to do it directly, but uh, binary searching on the answer like um, simplifies that. How does the minimum y guarantee that the max y will be minimum? Um, yeah, so we know that uh, so we know that the uh, minimum y was going to be um, oh, what are the possible values of oh, okay, I'll answer that later. Um, we know that the minimum value, since this vertex is red, um, this has a positive slope, this has a positive slope, and the value of this is always going to be less than or equal to the, the value of negative slopes. What? Um, yeah, um, so the minimum value is uh, always going to be less than or equal to the intersections of the negative slopes. So it's guaranteed that the lower bound we get is going to be less than or equal to the upper bound we get. So the min value that we get from the positive slopes is always going to be less than or equal to the uh, max value we get from the negative slopes. Just because this the intersection of this with the y-axis has to be less than the intersection of this with the y-axis. Yeah, what are the possible values of t? Um, yeah, so... Um, to find the minimum value, you can binary search over t in the range some really small number. I don't remember the exact input constraints, but you might be able to do smaller, um, like negative 10 to the 18 up to like, um, so just take the lowest point on the lowest rectangle. So min i y y, j, i. So it's like the min, i. So do you have a t lower and t upper, which are the lower and upper bounds of the cal positions? Um, yeah, so you have like t lower, which is the lower bound um, for the minimum y. 
And then you have T upper, which is the upper bound for the maximum y. But but the key thing that you should um you, um you should see is that it's always optimal to have positive slopes for a prefix and negative slopes for a suffix. So essentially you're solving two separate problems. So for everything that has a negative slope, uh you're trying to uh maximize the uh highest intersection. And then this this is like some binary search. When you maximize the highest intersection, it's like a binary search in the range y max. T is in the range from y max to infinity. Um, and then when you're binary searching for the min intersection, so max intersection, it's a binary search over T from y max to infinity. And then when you're finding the min intersection, it's a binary search over the T from negative infinity to Y min. How many possible values of T? Um, uh, it should be able to pass it um, if you set infinity equals to like 10 to the 18. Because when you're binary searching, the number of times you have to run it will be like, log 10 to the 18. Although um, I think it depends on the inputs. Like uh, I think the, so the slopes, they can be up to 10 to the nine. Um, yeah, and then the coordinates can be up to 10 to the nine. So you have to binary search. Um, yeah, so the upper bound of T is gonna be 10 to the 18. So I'm just having this infinity here. You're binary searching in the range from y max to infinity. Um, so the upper bound, um, yeah. So yeah. Um, so you're binary searching um, in the range from y max to 10 to the 18. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're trying to find the min. Um, yeah, you're trying to find the, <clears throat> you're trying to minimize the maximum um, intersection of the negative slopes and then maximize the minimum intersection of the positive slopes. What are y max and y min? <clears throat> so I define y max to be the largest y values out of the rectangles you give because you know that um, there has to be a cow that's above the largest y value. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Are the numbers guaranteed to be integers? Um, the slopes are guaranteed to be integers, but um, the uh, when you're binary searching on x, um, these in um these upper bounds, um, basically the upper bounds for the slope, they're not necessarily going to be integers. So you'll need to handle that, like floats or something. Um, yeah, I'll move on to problem three. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. So 